Is it possible for the mind to reach inbox zero within 60 hours of meditation? I tried Naval Ravikant's meditation advice for 60 days. All of man's problems arise because he cannot sit by himself in a room for 30 minutes alone. Isn't meditating for 60 hours a waste of time? And isn't sitting alone quietly in a room just something for prisoners and elderly? Every hour, every month, every year, there are things happening in your life. Like maybe you're wondering if you should finish a project or which study to choose or what to do with your relationship. And all these experiences are stacking up. Like some of them are being processed by you. Some of them are being absorbed. And some of these experiences you should think about a bit more, but you don't take the time. So you start to run around like a headless chicken. And it's like your email inbox, it's just piling up email after email after email that's not answered, going back 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And then when you sit down to meditate, those emails start coming back at you. Hey, what about this issue? What about that issue? Have you solved this? Did you think about that? You have regrets there? You have issues there? And that gets scary. People don't want to do that. It's like, it's not working. I can't clear my mind. I better get up and not do this. It's just that instead of paying a therapist to sit there and listen to you, you're listening to yourself. And you just have to sit there as those emails go through one by one. You work through each of them until you get to the magical inbox zero. If you can get a free hour of bliss every morning just by sitting and closing your eyes, that's worth its weight in the world. The last time someone offered me a free hour of bliss, I woke up in a ditch with one kidney missing. Nafal said it will be difficult and it will change your life. And I was really curious to see if 60 hours of meditation could have an impact on my life. But I also felt a lot of resistance because I've tried it before and then this happened is you will have to listen to your mind for a long time and preferably at least 60 days before you kind of work through a lot of issues. So it'll be hell for a while. The last time I tried it, I felt like I was confronted a bit too much with my unconscious parts that were really uncomfortable to face. So I stopped. But this time something pulled me. I felt like I had to do it. Like, what the hell? Why wouldn't you be able to sit with yourself in silence? So. I decided to try it. These are the rules. Just sit down, close your eyes, comfortable position, whatever happens, happens. If you think, you think. If you don't think, you don't think. Don't put effort into it. Don't put effort against it. You might know me from this Vipassana video where I did a 10 day Vipassana retreat, but I knew that this time it was going to be different because I wasn't going to be putting any effort into focusing on my body experience. So I would be confronted with my own mind. In a way, that's why it would be a bigger challenge. Nafal said it took him about one and a half months. You won't resolve your issues, but you will at least have listened to them. I also went full nerd mode and filled in a questionnaire after almost each session to keep track of what was happening during the meditation session. I got these questions from a friend who studies neuroscience and there were questions like, I felt peaceful, I thought about solving problems, I thought about others, I felt more focused. And later in the video, I will show some unexpected results that I got from keeping track of all of this. And next to this, I also made videos throughout the process, which I will show you later. I started on November 16th. So these were the first two weeks. It was actually easier to build it into a habit. And why was that? Because when I normally sit down to meditate, I feel like I have to focus on my breath or on my body. So it really feels like work, but this time, I didn't have to put any effort into anything or against anything. So all I had to do to succeed was just to sit down and stand my own thoughts. So there was no wondering about whether I was doing it right or not. And that's really the main point of this, no effort. And because of this, I didn't feel much resistance against it like I have with other types of meditation. 
until after day 24. Currently it's day 26, I just finished one hour and 15 minutes of meditation today. Um, so that means I'm almost halfway through the challenge. And last weekend, because today's Tuesday, I missed two days in a row. If you do something just not to break the streak, then you should really reconsider why you're doing it in the first place. And I'm a really big fan of anti-fragility. And that's why I think it's actually a good thing to break your stubborn patterns and your stubborn like streaks because you're gonna find ways to deal with it. And the way that I did this was that I still wanted to be able to say that I meditated for 60 hours in 60 days, which meant that I had to spread the two leftover hours that I missed last weekend over other days. And that's where the anti-fragility comes in because normally I would have stopped meditating after the one hour mark, but now I prolonged my meditation for 15 minutes. And yesterday I had really good insight about something that I wanted to do in life. And today, after the one hour mark, I got to this very peaceful, let's say inbox zero state. So yeah, I broke the streak, but it actually made me stronger because of this idea of anti-fragility and then this happened at day 42 which just happened to be the answer to the universe and everything right now it's the 27th of december it's almost 2023 and i can already say that i've accomplished what i wanted to accomplish Funny enough, uh, Naval Ravikant also mentioned that he reached this point about one and a half months in of meditating one hour each day. I just got to this very calm state of mind where it's almost as if where normally your thoughts are always the normal, the norm with this state of mind the silence is more of the norm and like the thoughts are kind of arising out of the silence and they are just passing away back into the silence instead of the other way around where there's constantly thoughts humming around in your mind and every once in a while there's a bit of silence uh, rising and passing away your mind becomes like a superconductor it's not holding on to anything it's not resisting anything it's just like Everything is just passing through, passing through. I would say that, yes, it's possible to reach inbox zero, even within 60 days of meditating one hour each day. And I could say that I already reached the goal, even though it goes against the whole idea of meditating because we're not really trying to achieve anything. And now I'm going to fill in just another form where I'm going to be able to say that I fully agree to the fact that I feel peaceful. One of the biggest insights that I gained from meditating for 60 hours was the importance of thought loops. Thought loops or just overthinking in my experience just comes from unresolved problems which is also very clear if you look at these graphs from the two questions I thought about solving problems and I felt peaceful first you see that I scored higher after about a month on solving problems like I was really examining my life and after solving my problems in real life not just by meditating I actually felt peaceful so I would say in my opinion at least that Meditation is not going to give you peace unless you actually change your life. And we can say that meditation isn't about finding peace. It's about finding out what's blocking it and fixing that. And that was actually a quote from ChatGPT. I was really amazed by that. That's water, not vodka. Meditation is made to advance your life, not to avoid your life. It will point out to you what you have to change. You work on that because that is currently your meaning of life, your mission of this chapter in your life. 
What year is this? I just finished 60 hours of meditation. It took me 69 days. No, wait, that was a Freudian slip. It, take, it took me 89 days to finish this. I'm okay with that. I also just want to show that that's life. So for me, a takeaway is also that it's about this dance between your life and the insights that you're gaining during meditation because they will be telling you what to do during your life and once you fix them in real life you come back to your meditation and you will be rewarded with some peace of mind once you've conquered that problem that has been nagging you and then at last i reached the 60 hour mark of meditation so did it change my life? I would definitely say so because I started a totally new chapter in life. I went from working as a freelancer to working as a consultant. So a lot has changed. And there's a graph that I want to show you because a lot of people think that by meditating you're going to empty your mind and you're not going to have any thoughts. But I asked myself the question, I had busy thoughts on a scale of one to five after many meditation sessions. And almost on all of them, I personally scored very high. So after even 60 hours of meditation, I do still have a lot of thoughts. It's not that my mind is completely blank. So my final thoughts on the process, unfortunately, because I started working full time, I don't have that much time to meditate anymore. But when I do, I notice that I actually feel more peaceful. Maybe it's because I solved this big problem from the last chapter in my life. Or what I think is because I or everyone experiences everything through contrast. So by working really hard, the contrast with sitting down and just closing your eyes doing nothing is even bigger. So I feel more relaxed. So the main message of this video is that if you sit down with yourself for long enough, you will be confronted with the problem that in that chapter in your life you have to tackle. And that after that you will very likely feel peaceful and you will advance your life. But it will be very difficult because there's going to be shit coming up that you haven't thought about for a long time. And it's going to be painful. And I wish you all the best and I hope that you can start by even meditating for one minute each day if one hour sounds like way too much because it is then just start small thanks for watching and if you want to see more just click on the subscribe button i will see you in another video